Well, disgraced former Detroit City Council President Charles Pugh has given up the fight. He had been trying to avoid paying a federal sexual harassment lawsuit of a then 17-year-old Detroit high school student. Our business editor, Rod Maloney, joins us live now with the story. Rod, we're talking about a lot of money here. Yeah, it's uh, $250,000 initially for Charles Pugh to pay, but he also owes another $350,000 to the city, uh, to uh, the, the client, uh, the school district does, that is. So it's about half a million dollars that is expected. Charles Pugh now is ending his part of the litigation if he lives up to his side of the deal. Charles Pugh ran what he called his Leadership Academy, an afternoon school program for Frederick Douglass Academy high schoolers. But he took a particular interest in a then 17-year-old boy, a romantic interest the boy claimed he wanted no part of. Pugh allegedly offered to pay him for sexual favors, and the teen made a sexually explicit video for Pugh at his request, testimony that came out in a federal lawsuit Pugh lost. The jury decided Charles should pay the teen a quarter of a million dollars. Pugh fought it, but an appeals court mediator convinced Pugh it was was time to pay up. The teen's attorney is William Cycli. We wasted a lot of money, we wasted a lot of time, but finally this is the beginning of the process in which Charles Pugh actually takes responsibility. Not just apologizes and said, but it really wasn't my fault, but actually steps up and starts paying money. Cycli tells Local 4 News the teen is now 20 and doing far better than the homelessness that he fell into before the trial. You don't just get better. But this trial was a real positive thing for this young man. Uh, he really had the opportunity to not only tell his story, but to have a jury say, you're right and Charles Pugh is wrong. And Cycli says Detroit public schools aren't off the hook either. The district owes the teen $350,000 payable by October. If not, he says, he's going after the emergency managers individually. And that would be Roy Roberts and Robert Bob if, in fact, the district doesn't pay. Now, I put in a call to DPS today, asked for uh, what they're thinking because they're getting ready with their next budget and whether this is included in that. So far, we haven't heard from them uh, because clearly they have a lot of things on their plate. And so uh, that's where this stands right now. But if Charles Pugh skips a payment or misses out, they will go after him again in full amount. And that could get difficult for him. Now, we heard from the uh, young man's attorney. What's Pew's attorney saying tonight, mm -hmm. Brian? Um, I, well, I put in a call to him this afternoon, and he said that he had no comment, nothing to say. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll have to wait again. Our Rod Maloney reporting for us live.